Hi everyone, I hope you're all doing well and today we will be starting a series of uh, thrift flip. So during the three days that are coming up, I will be posting one uh, thrift flip a day. So let's get started because there's a lot to do. <laughs> First up is not technically a thrift, but it will be a flip. So, you know, be indulgent. Uh, so it's this extra extra large, yeah, two X um, T-shirt that I bought in H and M, uh, and it was during the sale. So it sorry for the way my fingers have been used in this clip. I just painted my nails, so that's why. It used to be $9.99 and I got it for $1.99, so... What a bargain! Um, and it's just very, very big. Like, I don't know if you can see, but it's just very big. So, I love it. I love wearing big... Huge, humongous, enormous, gigantic... Um... Yeah, that's what I got. Um, but I love wearing those kind of stuff and I love this, but I feel like it could be so much cooler if I sort of did something with it. So that's what we're going to try to do today. Um, and also when I bought it, I just thought it was a normal t-shirt, you know, like going to be nice for summer, big t-shirt that maybe I can wear into a dress or maybe just lay over when I go to the beach and I just want something to cover up my shoulders. But actually, the fabric is so thick, like, it's like jean. I don't know if you guys realize how thick it is. Um, but anyway, so we can do something with that. I'm sure it will look um, cool. And I do already have an idea for this. So I'm going to try to... I don't know if you guys know this or saw this. I saw this somewhere, but I have no idea where, and I can't find it, but I just got this picture in my head. And it's like, you make like holes in the t-shirt and then you crochet around the corners of the hole so it makes like a hole but with crochet i don't know if that makes sense but anyway we'll try to make something like this i'm so happy the sun's coming out like really i'm so happy okay anyway so first thing i'm doing is just placing with a chalk made for clothes um the area where i would like to have holes so just tracing them out I'm putting a few in the neckline area because I think that will look really cute. Alright guys, so I've traced all the holes that I would like to be on my shirt. And so now I'm going to cut them out. Alright, it's time to cut everything out. Okay, let's go. So all the holes are cut out and my t-shirt really looks like a cherry cheese. It's, it's kind of hilarious actually. Look. It looks cool already. Like I could just leave that like that. But I want to add the crochet uh, step because I think that would look really cute. Okay, so I got all the colors that I think I would like with this blue. Um, and let's get started. the first one uh, and I think it looks super cute I'll show you how I do this so all you have to do is just poke holes in the sh around the shape you would like to be crocheting into uh, I just used my little scissor because it was easier but of course if you have any innovative idea of how to poke a hole just use that um, and so just do that all around the shape So once you've completed all your holes around your shape, just insert a crochet hook. Uh, it's better to use a very small hook because of course you don't want to ruin the holes. And yeah, so just uh, put your string through one of those holes and make a little knot. 
and then you can start crocheting so you just have to put your hook back into the hole where you first uh, put your string through and just start crocheting so pull through yarn over and go to the next hole pull through yarn over pull through go into the next hole pull through again and just do that all around your shape until you've completed um, your shape basically and once you're finished uh, it should look something like that um, and yeah it looks super cute I really like the results and yeah les Teletubbies pour euh... mais je parle en français là ok ok so updates I finished the three that were in the front and the one that was here on the sleeve um, and I really like it I think it looks super cute super cool um, and I'm really excited to be finished so I've got one more here and then I've got the big one in the back I'm really happy with it like I think it, it just pumps it up really really cool uh, and so for the back, I think I will use orange because I don't know, I love the orange with the blue. I think it looks really nice. And for this sleeve, I'm wondering if I should do pink. Because I think pink with the yellow, the blue, the orange will look uh, good. So I think I might do that. I also have green, not much of it though, but I think it would be enough. Which could look cute too. But I think I prefer the pink, so I'm going to do pink and orange and then we'll be done. Okay, so... I finished. That's what it looks like. I did pink on the side, white there, orange, blue and yellow and then orange again in the back. Um, let's try it on. guys that's it for today uh, i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please don't forget to like and subscribe if you would like to see more of me and don't forget to stay tuned for the next video that will come um, tomorrow at about 7 pm and yeah i hope you all have a great evening great afternoon great morning whatever time it is for you and i'll see you tomorrow bye I say so, big shorties in a big ass take off. Three more days when you ask how my